Hello students, welcome to my channel Learning History Made Easy. In today's video, I will be continuing with the series of the important questions chapter wise. I hope it is helping you for your exam preparations. Before going into the video, if anyone is seeing the channel for the first time or if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and share it with your friends and also click the bell button to receive notifications whenever I upload new videos. So without wasting time, let us get into the video. So in today's video, I will be discussing the important questions for chapter 2 and chapter 3. So first we will see the questions regarding chapter 2 that is one mark and two mark questions. Name the stone used by Paleolithic man. Quartzite. Which was the first metal used by man in North India? Copper. Which was the first metal used by man in South India? Iron. What is the meaning of the term Paleolithic? Old Stone Age. What is the meaning of the word Neolithic? New Stone Age. Name any two sites of Neolithic Age. Muski, Kaveri Basin, Bellari in Karnataka, Salem in Tamil Nadu, Karnood in Andhra Pradesh. Any two of these you can write. Which is the first Paleolithic site found in India? Sohan River Basin in Pakistan. Now the questions from Chapter 3. In which year was the Department of Archaeological Survey of India established? 1861 What does the word Mohanjudaro mean? Mound of Dead Where is the Great Bath of Indus Civilization located? Mohanjudaro Where was the Dockyard of Indus discovered? Lothal Who discovered Harappa and Mohanjudaro. Harappa was discovered by Dr. Dayaram Sahani and Mohanjudaro was discovered by R. D. Banerjee. Name any two cities discovered in Indus civilization. Harappa and Mohanjudaro. Mention the methods of disposal of dead body by Indus people. Cremation or burial. Mention the important deity of Indus people, Mother Goddess Pashupati. Mention any two causes which brought an end to Indus civilization. Change in the course of the river, continuous floods, spread of epidemics, attack by invaders. Now this is the important uh, 5 mark question in this chapter that is explain the town planning of Indus civilization or Enumerate the salient features of Indus civilization. So I will just explain uh, the answer for this question in detail. So uh, as we have told the question is about the town planning of Indus civilization. And the town planning is a salient or a unique feature of Indus civilization. So if a question comes about the town planning or the salient feature of Indus civilization. First, you have to explain about the town planning. It is a unique feature of Indus civilization and from the town planning, it proves that they have highly civilized and developed life. They had highly civilized and developed life. This we can understand from the town planning of the people of Indus civilization. They were the first to build planned cities. The Indus cities were well planned and they were the first to build planned cities and these cities had scientific drainage system. They were the first to build planned cities with scientific drainage system. And some cities, in some cities there are citadels, citadels to the west which was built on a higher platform. Citadels means it was built on a higher platform platform that was seen in some cities and on the east then citadel was made in the western side and in the eastern side there was residential area residential area 
So this was the basic idea about Indus town planning. And both these, that is a citadel and the residential area, was surrounded by a massive brick wall. So there was a massive brick wall which surrounded this citadel and the residential area. So that is the first uh, point which you have to write when the question is asked about Indus town planning. The second point which you have to write is about the street. The streets, the speciality was they were straight, the roads were straight and cut each other at right angles. The roads were straight and they cut each other at right angles and they were 13 to 34 feet wide. The streets were 13 to 34 feet wide and it had lamp post at interval. All the streets had lamp post at a certain interval that also was a speciality. And all these through the press and also dustbin was also provided on the streets. Uh, other than lamp post, dustbins were also provided and all these prove that they had a good municipal administration. Since the administration was good, then only all these facilities were given. So straight roads which cut each other at right angles, 13 to 34 feet wide. It had lamp post at interval, dustbins and all these prove that they had a good municipal administration. Now, uh, next point is about their drainage system. Drainage system. So, we have already discussed that they had excellent scientific drainage system and the drains were closed. They had closed drainage system. And each house, for each house it had its own drainage. Each house had its own drainage and a soak pit and there was a soak pit it was connected to the public drainage the soak pit was connected to the uh, public drainage and drains were covered that we already studied that the drains were closed it was covered and there was manholes at intervals for the purpose of cleaning okay there was manholes at intervals for the purpose of cleaning and large brick culverts were constructed on the outside of the city. There was large brick culverts, culverts in the uh, outskirts of city. Outskirts of city. Why was this constructed? It was to carry the excess water. Carry the excess water. The excess water was carried through this large brick culverts. Which, were, which was in the outskirts of the city. So this was about their drainage system. Now next we will see about uh, the great bath. The great bath is a very uh, special feature or more, a very striking feature of Mohenjo-daro. So the great bath is located at Mohenjo-daro. Okay, the great bath is located at Mohanjodaro Mohanjodaro and it is a striking feature and it consists of a large quadrangle which is uh, like a, a swimming pool okay large quadrangle with a swimming pool in the center and this has rooms and galleries on four sides there are rooms and galleries on all the four sides and some rooms had arrangement even for hot water bath. In some rooms there were arrangement for hot water bath. And there were flights of steps on four sides. Flights of steps were there on the four sides. And the great bath had withstood the nature's ravages for 5000 years. Okay, so great bath located at Mohenjo-daro. It had rooms and galleries on four sides. In some rooms there was arrangement for hot water bath. Uh, the water was discharged by a huge drain and it stood the nature ravages for 5000 years. So that was another important uh, feature or uh, uh, the feature of town planning of Indus civilization. Next is granaries. 
the largest building in mohanjodaro is the granary it is the largest building in mohanjodaro okay largest building in mohanjodaro is a granary and it is 45.71 meters long and 15.23 meter wide and there are brick platforms which form the base of the granary brick platforms which were the base of the granary have been found in harappa and also southern part of kalibangan southern part of kalibangan these brick platforms which were base of granaries have been found in this area and what was the purpose of granaries granaries were used for storing grains that was the purpose of the granaries during the indus civilization now the next salient feature of the indus civilization that is buildings now buildings uh, and houses were built on the sides of the roads and for construction they used burnt bricks burnt bricks were used for the buildings and every house had two or more rooms for each house they had two or more rooms and there were even more than one storied houses then the houses had uh, pillared halls then bathrooms kitchen etc so all these facilities were provided in the buildings and the, in some buildings there was even workmen quarters some buildings even had workmen quarters they had a very good system of water supply okay excellent system of water supply was there public wells were also there for providing water and some big houses had its own well and another important striking feature was a dockyard which was built at lothal so all these were the important features regarding the town planning of indus civilization so if a question comes about the town planning of indus civilization or regarding the uh, salient features of indus civilization which all points you should write we will just discuss it once more so if a question comes about town planning first you have to explain about the town planning the point town planning should be explained okay this will be the first point second point you have to write about the streets third you will have to write about their drainage system as a fourth point you can write about the great bath then the fifth point about granaries the sixth point about their buildings so when you give an explanation about all these six points together then it will become a perfect answer for the question uh, town planning of indus civilization or the salient features of indus civilization so now we will go through the answer once more about indus town planning salient features town planning it is a unique feature of indus civilization their town planning proves that they lived a highly civilized and developed life they were the first to build planned cities and scientific drainage system some cities have citadels to the west which was built on a higher platform on the east they had a residential area both were surrounded by massive brick wall streets they were straight and cut each other at right angle they were 13 to 34 feet wide streets had lamp posts at interval dust bins were also provided on the streets all these prove the presence of good municipal administration drainage system they had excellent closed drainage system each house had its own drainage system and soak pit which was connected to the public drainage drains were covered and had manholes at intervals for cleaning large brick culverts were constructed on the outskirts of the city to carry excess water indus people had a perfect underground drainage system 
the great bath it is one of the most striking feature in mohenjo-daro it consists of a large quadrangle with a swimming pool in the center it has rooms and galleries on four sides some rooms had arrangement for hot water bath the swimming pool had flight of steps at either end the water was discharged by a huge drain the great bath had withstood the nature ravages for 5000 years granaries the largest buildings in mohenjo-daro is a granary it is 45.71 meters long and 15.23 meter wide brick platforms which form the base for granaries have been found in harappa and southern part of kalibangan granaries were used for storing grains buildings buildings and houses were built by the side of roads burn bricks were used for building every house had two or more rooms there were also more than one storied houses the houses had pillared halls bathrooms kitchen well etc elaborate structures other than residential quarters have also been found there were also worksmen quarters they had an excellent system of water supply and had public wells big houses had its own well the dockyard was also built at lothar so this was the answer for the question town planning of indus civilization so i hope you have understood all the points very clearly if you have any doubts you can ask in the comment section and also don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel your likes and comments will be of a great encouragement for me to make more and more videos so i hope to see you soon in the coming video thank you for watching